Hey, what's up YouTube? Lightsaber Samurai here, and in this video we are going to go over all of the Steelbook and Special Edition games in my collection, coming up. So first up on the list is a game that I've talked about before. Um, if you watch previously my last pickups video that I did with my brother uh, Aaron of Killer Concepts, one of the pickups I had was Senran Kagura Peach Beach Splash. Now the Senran Kagura series is um, about a, a, a clan of ninja, and it's really a it's really a fan service game. Uh, this game actually plays a lot like. Splatoon in my opinion kind of go around in different arenas and uh, Water gun fight, but the water gun fighting is really intense I mean everybody has these jetpacks where they can kind of fly around and uh, skim across the surface And there's a different variety of water guns for instance You got dual pistols and assault rifles and kind of like sniper rifles and water cannons and hoses and different just types of water guns it's actually quite a fun game uh, just to play in the single player uh, actually it's got a couple of like VR modes and things like that they get kind of kind of risque but overall it was a very fun title and the Center on Kagura series is pretty insane um, opening up in here in this you get this cool uh, art book which I don't know if I can open this up some of the images in here are pretty I said it's pretty this is a risque series so uh, the artwork is going to uh, the artwork is gonna mirror and portray that but it also comes with a cool uh, CD uh, it's a um, uh, it's trying to say it's a soundtrack and you know kind of like that that uh, that J rock J pop sound and so it's all the the uh, music from the game and I think a bunch of extra music that wasn't in the game but uh, all in all, it's a really cool package. It has this cool long box that comes with a physical version of the game. Um, and this one is dropping down in price as of yet. So this is one worth scooping up before it shoots back up in price. So Okay, so boxing that up, moving along, and I'm going to go with a pair of titles here for this next one. And this is... Shantae, Half Genie Hero. And I've actually got the, the Risky Boots Edition on the Vita as well as the Wii U. Uh, I picked up the Vita version first and just kind of never got around. I know, as of today, this this game is still sealed. So I know everybody that's kind of been following me, you know, when you're gonna open it, when you're gonna open it. I, I don't like having sealed games in my collection. So I planned, I had all intentions of opening this. But of course, now that I have the Wii U version, I mean, I don't know, this might stay sealed for a little while longer. Uh, the Wii U and the Vita version have identical, um, has identical amenities in each collector's edition. Risky Boots edition, it just comes with a soundtrack CD, as well as a physical copy of the game, if I can get it out here. The Wii U packaging is kind of weird in the way that it's in there. It's come with soundtracks. Okay, so there's the game. The Wii U version, and there. There it goes. So there's the soundtrack. It, like I said, it's still sealed. And Risky Boots is her uh, nemesis in that. The soundtrack, I'm sure it's just the soundtrack to the music of the game, which it's pretty cool. A nice uh, kind of whimsical soundtrack. And I'm not really into listening to these on my, in my car, but if I want to use these for YouTube videos and things like that, it's cool that I have the soundtrack so I can just download and then kind of use the music like that. So... But, like I said, both of them excellent platformers, and so that's that. Moving on, uh, some of these still book games I got, and so the first one I found on the pawn shop was Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Unfortunately, it doesn't have these, the slip cover that came with it, and that's kind of the story with a lot of these that I find used, trying to find those elusive slip covers, and they're pretty hard to find. But we all know the story of Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Marvel vs. Capcom 3 is an excellent, but still it's not the peak of the Marvel vs. Capcom series in my mind. Uh, I still like Marvel vs. Capcom 2, 
as well as one of its predecessors, the, the, um, the game they released before the first Marvel vs. Capcom, which is Marvel Super Heroes vs. Street Fighter. But all of them, you know, they kind of have that crazy comic book style of Street Fighter characters and, uh, um, you know, X-Men and just a bunch of different Marvel superheroes and villains kind of clashing and the action is over the top and frantic. And so, you know, definitely had to scoop that up and it was just a couple of bucks. Moving on to the PS4, and I've got Yasuka uh, Kawami. And so this is a remake, a remaster of the original Yakuza that came out on the PS2. And these are excellent kind of open world beat em up games. Kind of a, a bit of a cross between something like a Shinmu and maybe like a Grand Theft Auto. Um, so, I mean, that's pretty much all I can say about that. It's got the awesome slip cover and I'm glad I bought bought this with the slip cover because like I said they're hard to find. I don't think it came with anything extra other than that inside. But like I said, just the, the still book itself, it's very it's beautiful design and so is the artwork on the slip cover. I like how the little girl in the center of the still book she kind of fills the space, that space in the slip cover. And as you slide that in place, you see the little girl pop into place. I thought that was super cool. So, um, like I said, very nice packaging there. Keeping with the PS4, and when it came time to get my fighting game fixed, I looked no further than the King of Fighters 14. Uh, this game is excellent, and it's got a full roster of characters, something like 40 plus characters, a ton of game modes. Definitely, it was the full package, unlike the Street Fighter V that we got this generation. So, once I heard that it didn't have any characters, I didn't even bother with getting it. And, of course, you know, it's SNK and Atlas teaming up, so I had to scoop that up. Again, it's got this cool slip cover, and there's nothing much to it except uh, kind of the, the back artwork. But there's, other than that, most of the design is on the, the steel book itself. And again, it didn't come with anything extra, but uh, like I said, just the, the artwork of the still book itself is fantastic. So, next up here, and since they just released this game on the Xbox One or, or re released it, I thought we'd talk about Modern Warfare 2. And this is, in my opinion, still the best in the series um, so far, especially of the, the Modern Warfare games or anything that's came out since. Um, Call of Duty 2 so I mean we all know the story of it the multiplayer was excellent this was part of the prestige edition and I've since lost the slipcover I wasn't really collecting back then and so I'm kicking myself for that now um, if you've seen some of my earlier videos on my Xbox shelf here I've got soaps um, you know his uh, his face his face uh, I don't know what they call those things but I've got his face uh, mask there and then up above here I've got my um, my night vision goggles hanging and so the prestige edition like I said I don't really go all out for special editions like that unless they have a ton of cool stuff like I said it had the steel book which is a nice steel book it had soaps uh, face uh, mask there and then of course the night vision goggles which were military grade fully working night vision goggles and I still like take those down from time to time and just kind of play around with those all right, starting to reach here, and the next one up on the list, continuing with my steel books, is the Steelbook Brawler edition of Final Fantasy Dissidia NT. Uh, and NT, like like I said, the, the Dissidia games were excellent fighting games that came out on the PSP only, and it featured, it was kind of like Smash Brothers with Final Fantasy characters in it. Of course, it had a cool, deep, long story, and the combat in it was... I mean, the combat in it was awesome. It was kind of fully 3D uh, combat arenas that you fought in, and it looked a lot like the fight scenes from movies like Final Fantasy Advent Children, and so that was one thing that kind of drew me to the uh, Dissidia series, and I didn't even know they had dropped one on the PS4 until I was in GameStop one day and saw it. I was like, whoa! Like, so I had to go ahead and scoop it up. Again, this is another beautiful package, and... The slipcover hosts most of the the front and back artwork, while the steel book kind of has its own artwork there that you can't see with some of the heroes on the front and villains and some of the heroes and villains on the back. So um, 
yeah, opening this up. Also, in this edition, it came, it comes with these collectible cards here. And so I haven't opened these up. That's the Warrior of Light right there up front. And as well as some propaganda for Final Fantasy Online. And so, like I said, I got that complete in box. I would like some of those Final Fantasy cup noodles. So that was that. All right, so moving on. And the next game I wanted to bring up is one that I talked about, another one that I talked about in my last pickups video, and that is the last story on the Nintendo Wii. And this is the storybook edition. It's very cool the way they got this design, like an actual storybook, uh, like an actual book. The artwork on the front is embossed. I imagine this probably comes with a slip cover as well. But uh, like I said, I just bought it used, so that's what I got of it. Opening it up, it comes with a physical copy of the game as well as an art book that shows a lot of the art from the a lot of the art from the game. And like I said, you know, a lot of concept art and things like that. Alright, so I've got a lot to go through, and I think I'm gonna cut this into two videos because this game this uh, this video is going on long enough by itself as it is so uh, if I did this all together it'd be about a 40 minute video and I don't want to do that so uh, just lay it down in the comments what you think about this video as always I'm lightsaber samurai thank you for watching thank you for subscribing and until next time